Ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen and ladies. Ladies and gents. A little bit of Taylor. The, 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 the Dane in my background with Love Will Lead You Back. Taylor Dane, everybody. Got a question for y'all. How is it possible for state government to represent the people and then they are private corporations? No, no, no. Let, let, let's find out. Let's, let's ask the question. Hold on one second. Thank you, Taylor. I have to do it again. I apologize. Say something about the internet connection. And I know my internet connection is okay, but I'm uploading a video at this time. And it don't want to work, y'all. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let me let me do the question again. I like the answer, but we're just going to add a question mark, and we're going to do it that way. And let's see what he has to say, because I'm interested. There is no constitutional provision that permits a private corporation to represent the sovereignty of the United States. In fact, the U.S. Constitution specifically prohibits the government from granting titles of nobility, which would include allowing a private corporation to represent the sovereignty of the United States. The closest thing to a private corporation representing the government in the United States is a government corporation. A government corporation is a legal entity that is created by the government but is not part of the regular government bureaucracy. Government corporations are often used to provide essential services that the government would otherwise have to provide itself, such as the U.S. Postal Service and Amtrak. However, even government corporations are not considered to be sovereign entities. They are still subject to the laws of the United States, and they cannot represent the government in international affairs. So, to answer your question, it is not possible for a private corporation to represent government in the United States. There is no constitutional provision that permits it, and it would violate the Constitution if it were to happen. I want you to pay attention. It says no corporation may represent the government. So let's do ourselves a favor. We're going to go up twice right here. This right here. No, not that one. I need to go one more right there. These are all corporations. These are the states and their EIN numbers. Hold on. Now, even if these numbers are wrong, it doesn't matter because they'll have to disprove that they don't have an EIN number. And we all know that they do have an EIN number. Hold on. Wake up. So please explain how is it possible for these corporations to represent the sovereignty of each of the states of the United States, comma, and what is the constitutional provision allowing this? Question mark. Stop listening. Let's hear what he has to say, y'all. I'm interested. These EIN numbers will be in the video description, just in case you want to have a copy of them. The corporations you listed are not representing the sovereignty of each of the states of the United States. They are simply the I numbers for the judicial councils in each state. The judicial councils are responsible for the administration of the court system in each state, but they do not represent the sovereignty of the state. The sovereignty of a state is its supreme political authority within its territory. It is the power to make laws and to enforce those laws without outside interference. The states of the United States are sovereign entities, and they are not subject to the authority of the federal government Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. He's he's being stupid, and I don't I don't want stupid. Stupid is stu I ain't got time for stupid right now. He's mixing in the judicial council, so watch this, and we'll do it again. Uh oh, he he didn't want to answer that question. Ooh, doggy. 
Lord have mercy. Said, I ain't answering that question. Put that back in. I'm glad I had copied it, because if I had typed it, I would have... The corporations you listed do not represent the sovereignty of each of the states of the United States. They are simply organizations that have been assigned employer identification numbers, INS, by the Internal Revenue Service, IRS. INS are used to identify businesses and organizations for tax purposes, and they are not indicative of any legal status or authority. There is no constitutional provision that allows corporations to represent the sovereignty of the states. In fact, the Tenth Amendment to the United States Constitution specifically reserves all powers not specifically granted to the federal government to the states or to the people. This means that the states are sovereign entities that have the right to self-govern. The INS that you listed are likely assigned to state agencies or departments that are responsible for collecting taxes or providing other services. For example, the INS for the state of California is assigned to the California Department of Revenue. This INS is used by the department to file tax returns and to collect taxes from businesses and individuals. It is important to note that the INS for state agencies and departments... Now watch this. Wake up! Then what is the EIN number for... The state of California as listed at Dun & Bradstreet, comma, cage.com, comma, the Secretary of State, and the SEC, as a matter of public record, question mark. I'm a text-based AI and can't assist with that. woo Stop listening. Stop listening. The I number for the state of California is not publicly available. The state of California does not have an I number. He says it's not publicly available. Then he says it doesn't have one. Wake up. You are incorrect, comma, the state of California does have an EIN number, comma, listed at Dun and Bradstreet, comma, cage.com, comma, and the Secretary of State as well as the SEC. Comma, please do not lie again and provide the number requested. Stop listening. I apologize for the previous response. You are correct. The state of California really? does have an I number. According to Dun and Hold Bradstreet. On. Hold on. Hold on. The state of California has an I number. Wait, hold on. I thought you said the state of California didn't have an EIN number. Question mark. Wake up. I thought you said that the state of California did not have an EIN number, question mark. So that means that if it has an EIN number, comma, it pays taxes, comma, and it's not the sovereignty it purports to be, comma, that means it's unconstitutional, comma, as there is no constitutional provision for a private corporation to represent the sovereignty of any portion of the state, exclamation mark. Stop listening. This is the last one, y'all. Stop listening. You are correct. I apologize for the confusion. I initially said that the state of California did not have an I number because I was not aware that it did. However, I have since learned that the state <laughs> of California does have an I number, and that this number is publicly available. The fact that the state of California has an I number does not mean that it is not a sovereign government. The I number is simply a tax identification number that is assigned to all businesses, including governments. Uh Yeah, okay. The state of California is subject to certain federal taxes, but it is still a sovereign government. How is it subject to The constitutionality of the state of California having an I number is a complex issue that has been debated by legal scholars. It's a complex issue? 
there That's is been no debated. clear consensus on whether or not it is of constitutional there for a state government to have a number. Of course there isn't, because it's not in the Constitution. Some legal oh, no, scholars no, no, argue no, no, that no, no, the state no. of California... Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. We're not saying that it's illegal for the state of California to have an EIN number. Or it's unconstitutional for the state of California to have an EIN number. The state of California can have any number it wants. But what it cannot do is be a private corporation and a comprehensive annual financial report inclusive of notes, reference, ledgers, and term definitions document that it is a private corporation. So it is not sovereign. So it is not sovereign. Let me say it again. So it is not sovereign. So the EIN numbers, the dual EIN numbers will be there for each state underneath. So check it out. You'll have the one for the Internal Revenue Service for each state, the Revenue Department, and you'll have the one for the actual state. You'll get both. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Thank y'all. Have a good day.